Hey traders, Parker here with another indicator. To have an introduce you to the combination of the volume profile and the market profile, or known on Think and Swim as TPO, time price opportunity profile. I combined them together and I averaged out the volume, value area high, the value area low, and their points, two points of controls. And what we're looking at right now is the S and P 500, and this is the this is it on the five minute. And I'm gonna push it to yeah. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna maximize this cell so we can see everything. And you can look right here, and you can see where there, what at times price and volume was in unison, and other times it wasn't in unison. Right now, I have price as the white shaded area, and I have volume as the pink shaded area to to contrast everything. This is fully customizable. You can be able to go in here and go and change everything on here. And at the end of the day, they're pretty in unison. If you look right here, where the most uh where price spent most of this time and where uh the uh the most contract contracts were traded. You can look over here on Tuesday. No, today is Tuesday. So you can look right here on Monday where they were disjointed where price uh according to the TPO the price spent most of its time up here while here in this uh point of control for volume volume point of control this is where the most contracts were traded you can see right here at a certain point during the day most of the volume was down here and that's where spy got his big push up and but it still had to fight through everything that's fighting through uh maybe it didn't i don't think it did because what happened is most of the volume was down here so it was really skewed oh, excuse uh, let's go back it, it should have been skewed like this and then uh, everything built up into this area so yeah so that's more likely what's happened what uh what happened and you can see how everything uh the contrast between the two And you can look right here. Uh, generally, most of the price stayed up here in this area for the day, but you can see down here it came down to this area with this uh with the cyan point of control and volume. Most of the volume was traded down here, so you would expect that uh some type of push up from there because the uh point of control, the average point of control would have been right here, and that's what it basically had to fight with that day. And we'll move over to the daily chart, and you can see this as well. Um, what price and uh, where the most contracts were traded on the volume profile, and what price spent most of its time. And it's pretty, uh, pretty much in unison right here, or showing confluence between the two. Uh, this is uh, the spy, and you can see with these two points of controls. Um, what everything, what price, um, what price really had to fight it up above, but couldn't hold it. And right now, this is the month of May, and this is where we are. This is the current point of control, uh, current average of the point of control between the uh, between the uh, TPO and the volume profile, and the value area high and value area low averages. And all I did was just take them and divide, um, add them together and divide by two. And that's how I was able to create those averages. I'm going to put my lines back. And I want to go look at Tesla. I'm going to uh, remove my drawing set for a moment. And we can see pretty much everything is in unison on here as well. Where price and the volume spent the most time. Where, where volume, where the most contracts were traded. And we can come over to the day. And this is what every the same time the spy got pushed up. And you see price uh spent most of his time right here for the moment, for that uh moment during the day, but it got pushed up. Same here with uh volume. Most of the volume contracts were traded in this area. Uh Tesla was able to overcome it and push above it. And what day did I do that video? I wanna say it was this day. Now I did this video on Tesla, and you can see right here 
where Tesla had to fight in this area. Price spent most of his time down here. I actually bought in this area. I want to say I bought it uh, 27. I bought around this area. But you can see where this is the where the most area where most of the contracts were traded with this uh, point of control for the volume profile. And you can see right here where Price spent most of his time in this area. And you can see how um, Tesla reacted in that area. And you can see how the two are disjointed. how everything you know fell back out and you can say in one sense because of the disjointed even though price spent most of his time up here volume even wasn't enough volume to sustain it but because of the good news tesla jumped up from there or was able to jump up from there because it wasn't a whole bunch of volume to fight against or yeah but here it just completely fell out and you can see how volume and uh, water uh, price spent most of the time up here. And most of the contracts were traded up here as well. But you had this big volume node coming through as well at the end of the day where people started buying Tesla. And even though it dropped, the, but it still uh, gave an area of support and resistance where it was support. And this is pretty much the indicator we can go to the day, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you uh, haven't already, please like and subscribe. And if uh, you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section, and I'll leave the link to the indicator in the uh, description. I wish you all the best. Stay safe out there, and God bless. And thanks for taking the time out to listen to what I had to say. Oh, one other thing before I go was um, everything is still there. I haven't just clicked off. The only ones I have shown are those averages. And this is the base controls uh, for the uh, for the indicator. And that's it. Bye.